Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome back again today with another live tutorial. So last live video before the weekend. Of course, I'm gonna see you on Monday with so excited for the announce seeing the winner for a 10,000 followers giveaway. So I am so excited. And is this one on Instagram? No, thank okay, you. So, okay. So I'm so excited and if you miss my live video tomorrow, I'm sorry, if you missed my live video yesterday, you can head over to Facebook and re-watching all these designs, really cute. This one is was a night before, but this is super cute. Neon pigments, neon crystals, Neon Pigment, who did it last week, but Neon Crystal, and then we have um, the Perfect Cars in the Crimsons, and then we have the Diamond Dust Pixie in several different colors. So I'm so excited to share with you today with a different live video, a different content. So I'm so excited. Hi, Miss Shannon. Hi, Lily. She's right here with me. Lupita. Hi, Instagram. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope everyone have a great Saturday. I always keep myself busy. Hi, uh, the guys with the nails. Thank you so much. We got to see your beautiful work. It's amazing. Keep up the good work. Hi, Nene. Hello, how are you? Uh, the guys with the nails. Yes, you can rewatch on Insta. Insta is IG's only last for 24 hours. However, on Facebook, Facebook will last forever so you can watch on Facebook with all our video and also YouTube YouTube channel you can watch it over to as well when uh, it's upload there to see I mean like our live video is a little bit longer than it's normally it's quick clips like video clips we'll try to get a, a shorter video clip so then you get an idea of what we're doing but if you want to tune in and get to interacting and have any questions a live question with us that is great to have your notification turned on so then that's why you won't miss our live video because that is brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such and this is on in one mission that to share so much techniques with all beginners nail techs as well as uh, experts so then you can learn something new like as me I learn every day we all learn every day it's something new we we'll all inspire from each other and help each other to achieve more so it's so excited and this is a look for yesterday and the day before. If you miss it, please go back and watching this. And if you have any questions, you can always DM us and just be patient. We get usually we we'll try to get back to everyone. If we miss everyone's right like at the moments, we trying to get everybody in the list and because of really um high volume of increase in all the questions. So but you know what? Just by the end of the day, thank you so much for the love and support. We wouldn't be here without you. So that's why we're here for you every day. Just, you know, an hour to help support you. So then if you have any uh, troubleshooting, any questions, we can all go through together. So let's get started for today. Today we're going to do some liquid powders encapsulating with um, glitter. I'm gonna say hi to everyone. Can you um say hi to I think she in the gym job. It's now hold on, I am missing one of how do you keep the beat to stay on? What do you use? Um silence. I'm using here's a what I'm using for all entities. Welcome for the first time. If you are for first time tuning in to us, welcome to tuning in our live videos. And I using this condensed glue gels and also I also use this precision glue to keep it staying nice in one place and seal them so then they won't have any edges like catching anything so you're gonna see me throughout the live video I am going to do so I'm gonna doing some liquid and powder first because this is have so many of clients that request for this as well we back again because we've done so many of liquid and powder 
encapsulating and ombre so we'll go back again this is one of our news really a great dramatic a glitter you might have experienced some of our collection glitter with 12 different colors so they are like it's really variety on four really um reasonable price but sometimes you're seeing all of the dramatic glitter that is the top quality is really like three dimensions under a dramatic glitter and liquid gun powder as you see usually it's come into this jar and i'm so thrilled and excited to check this one out and to show it up with you so i'm gonna open and they are actually feel really just this one is really cool it's have uh let me get mine it has dramatic butterflies and then dramatic glitters in silver can you see it so i'm really excited so let's dive right into this one because then I have Lily here, she's so sweet, she's uh, hanging out here with me so she can help me shape some of the nails. In the meantime, we're going to have probably a, another session for the, on the real models doing a liquid gun powders on the nails so I can able to get to help you and show you with the A packs and as well as the shaping and everything. So stay tuned, then we're going to do that, okay? So let's get right in i have a clears right here and also i have a kind of um, extremely milky white you can get this look with milk and white or white white it's really depend on you and i have a monomers i'm using a cnd monomers retention and also i have my brush number 15 just in case you're asking and then also i have a jar of a uh, clear acrylics right here so let's get right into this one and also we're gonna do some nails with that okay and with a this is a touch of a color collection i really really adore this because they are so stunning to work with let me move off this guy so this beautiful nails usually i keep it there to show you but then as soon tomorrow well on monday i'm sorry you're gonna start seeing me put it together in this so this is really cool tip and trick if you need to looking for like um color swatch holder you can go to the store in lowe's home depots and buy the door knobs this is really cool tip and trick and we'll hold 20 of them in there just in case you want to lay on the station just stand on the station the client can see and also you can put the price for the clients for their preference if they want to know how much you know it's like this design costs like for instance at five dollars or well, this nail is gonna be cost fifteen dollars. So it's really depend on your salon location. Just some tip and trick I would love to share, especially for you just tune in to our live video for first time. Thank you so much and um welcome to our live tutorial. Thanks so much, Miss Dorisa. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hi, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're gonna try to say hi to everyone. If you don't see me. Uh, wave you back it's just because i was busy with the nails so i will be right back with you after i finish and i have this right here the glitter i'm so adore this one all right so i'm gonna do it with you i am gonna brush my nails just the reason it is because some states um is really not warms or cold is really depend but however the client's nails can be cold or hot like warm and cold so if it's too warm, you can just using your brush dip into the monomers and you can able to um, just brush one swipe on the top of the nail to make it cool down a little bit. So then therefore it help your liquid is acrylic. It's not gonna be, you know, dry too fast. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna dip into the monomers and I will pick up some clear powder. Lily's just filling some clear powder for me. You know, I don't have to worry about this one to build structure yet because I just need a little base on this because I am going to put the um, dramatic glitter butterfly mix. I'm so excited, everyone. Let's see. If you're really picky about this or some clients are picky about how they want the way they want their um, butterfly, 
then you might have to using your crystal pickers and pick them up okay and place them the way we have some um do we have i think we do have it we can get them out and place them you can see that how i get them out and place them but it's really depend on the clients if the client says just do whatever then you can lay them the way you want it or if you want them to just turn the way you prefer just let me know when you play with that and don't forget to tag us we would love to see your beautiful work to feature you easier to pick it up like that this is a beautiful butterfly tiny little one okay so then let me cap that again with the clear make sure you cap it you can put the milky whites right on the top great no problem but if you would like to do kind of an ombre milky white I would cap a little bit first and you see the motion like I always doing it tap it and guide them toward to the center so then that way they will look nice and slender the shape it looks precise even before you filing and shaping okay so now for the beginners or for all the experts who really like a start interview with um, ombre you can do one bead like a bigger bead onto the kitty coat and blend it down or you can do it two beads like divide in two of them which is I pick one right here I'm gonna do right start from that's when the apex is gonna be you see it's on the um, on the real model hand and nails I can show it better but when it's you lay it here and you start seeing it still running that's where you start blending it because it's still blend it's still wet so then you can blend it really nicely and then it's really depend on you how you want your white to be blending sometimes if you want your white like half of the nails it depends on the length of the client's nail too. But sometimes people will just want more clear, less uh, milky white. Sometimes people just want half and half. It just really depends on your clients, okay? And you're adjusting with that. I show the techniques and then you can do a really flexibility and anything that you would like to. And I know you guys doing it so well as well. And then I will go in a second beat and go around the kiko in this you're gonna get closer to the kiko but do not put it too close like close like just a hair and then you're gonna push it you know why because in that way you can control it better without getting all over the cuticles and it's gonna be hard when you're filing them i'd rather take a little bit of time it might take a few more minutes uh longer but it will save you a long way when you're filing. Like if you want to get closer, I mean like right here, and you can. And also, if you have a hard time with getting, like now I'm finding like something, a lot of uh, techniques that which is that student we got to get time to train. Sometimes they have a hard time is they want to pick one beat, and then you have to work between the ombre I think let me zoom uh, can I can you zoom that one a little bit if you have to work on the ombre and the kitty cords you might have a hard time because you know why because when you start trying to push up with the kitty cord to fix your kitty cord first if you do one bit of the white here let me explain why because when you're busy trying to focus on the kitty cord then guess what happened right here is start getting dry so when it dry you can't blend them well like you expecting so that's why sometimes you're seeing oh my god why is my ombre doesn't turn out the way I am like expecting that is for beginner but you start doing like a five seven nine eight nine ten sets you're like okay I got it down you can do one beat 
or you can do 10 beats is really it's up to you it doesn't matter anymore because you got it down but it's for the first no frustrated if you want to and then if you feel like you want to blend anything else you can go back and blend it and one of the things is really nice about this because it's the milky white so it's really like have a smoky look I really really like this look and I'll put some crystal on the top of it too so now is normally you'll be done but I would cap right here where I'm gonna cap it's right between the milky white and the clear where it's meat because then if I filing them this one will be protect so I'm gonna cap it right there you don't have to cap whole nails if you are you can and like some are beginners like if the student I teach there like I feel like I cap the kitty coals will be better so then I won't mess up with the kitty coals that's a great idea too so here I show the techniques but pretty much you're gonna develop your own really cool techniques that work the best for you and then you can add some of the techniques you learn from a different um, expert from a different company then pick it up and use it for yourself I know that you will do so well with no down here so I think it's good it's more like it talk if I do this in you know, a one nail is already done but just because I don't want to explain it really clear for you so you get it exactly why you have to do that yep it looks great right now so I'm gonna set this nail to let it dry and Lily can help me um, five them I can't wait because it looks so dramatic underneath it's gonna be so sparkle Look at that. This underneath of the nail. So beautiful. All right. Let's do some marbling with like have a smoky nails. Would you like to see that? Oh my god, what's that going? And then we can do one pink and white. So then let's do one pink and white. So then we can do um let me see, can I get the one pink and white? I can do one pink and white, so then no, and then we can do a diamond dust pixie ombre later. Mm -mm. Mm. That's one of the pink and white on it. No, I don't need it yet. Thank you. Oh, can you turn the hood on? All right, my cute, beautiful butterfly mix now. So you get the mix with the loose glitter together. It's a beautiful. So don't forget to check it out. And let's go to the next one. I'm gonna brush my as usual if you're just first tuning in. Welcome. I'm gonna put it on this side so then you guys can see it better so you won't have a really busy background. Genesis, I love everything you show us from the work to the beautiful, amazing products. So thank you so much, love. Uh, it's mean a lot to us. Thanks so much for our love and support. We are here for you, so don't forget to turn on your notifications so you won't miss our live videos. It's really helpful live video. I wouldn't um we wouldn't share we would share everything for you. Even like hi Sarah, how are you? Thank you so much, is now element Terry, thank you so much. Hey, good glam nails. How are you, sweetie? Yes, that's the stick. The stick we do have it online in ours, and then it's still going on for twenty percent for today. The last day we extended it because it's overwhelming love and support. So we do it for you, and then it's gonna be end tonight at midnight of um, Fortifix Center's time. So if you or interested in some of the product you haven't picked up where you left off that's a good time for you to pick it let's move to the fun the next one hey thank you Sarah I'm doing well sweetie I can't wait I've got to see you really soon okay I can't wait until Sarah show up Sarah is really talented it's one of the talented um, nail technician I got opportunity to work with Sarah you have to show them your beautiful work your beautiful work is really priceless. Yes, Nail Queen, today is going to be the last day. It was, and we have so many overwhelming with supports and love. 
And because of that, they extend it for one more day. So it's just going to be end tonight. There's no other exception. So I don't know how is that going to be because they said, oh, because tonight is the last night and everybody is so much support. So we're doing a last, um, well, not last video, video, last video for the week. But I'll be back on Monday with a lot of different cool designs as well. But today is the last day for sale. So don't miss out the opportunity to save 20%. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so going to the next one, I am going to, okay, so it's really cool though. It looks so similar. So this one is like kind of milky white and one is the clear. I was thinking that should I do the white? Maybe I should do the white, white. Maybe white. doing a white. Can you get me the white on that? You know what? In the meantime, I'm waiting for the white on the bottom, on the bottoms, Lily. No, in the bottom, on the drawer. So I'm gonna do this one first. Sorry, is this our, our plan for your content? Mm, no, this one might be not too, is it the one on the drawer, Lily? So I'm gonna pick 70% of clear, and then I will only pick 30% of the milky white. We'll see how it turn out, because the milky white might not showing in like a white. I'm gonna walk into, the cuticle and then blend it first. I'm not worried about if I'm not getting it perfect because you know why I'm telling you? I was saying it like, your marbling will never gonna be the same identical every time. Um, pure white, yeah, I need one of this. You know what? It looks really, is really like a milky though. I'm gonna still continue to doing it because I just wanna see how it's that turn out because it would be really milky to me. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I wanna plan to play with you because then you get an idea too. So yeah, it's really like, it's really a blending it, even though I get more of them. You can see it, right? It's like really, like really red, you can see it. But I wanna continue doing it. because I'm gonna add some glitter on it. It looks good, but you really can see it's like really red. But then if I do the white white, which is the pure white, it's gonna show crazy beautiful. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna add this one on. You can also add butterflies on it too. Can you get me a um, sky, um, this one? The shiny the, uh -huh, the, uh -huh. This right there. Oh, right here. Oh, I don't know. This looks good. Oh, I like that. It's okay, it's milky one. Let me cap that. You can do, I picked this one right here. But you can pick any colors out of 12 of them. I'm excited to try every single of them out. Because you know what? You will never go wrong with this glitter. Even you make it like a mistake with the clients now, like you just do some glitter on, it's make everything perfect. Yeah. I will do the next one. That's how it is, the glitter is contagious. Glitters just make everybody happy and it's so sparkle. I don't know why, like if you feel like it doesn't it look plain through some glitter on, it just changes the whole entire look of the nails. Don't you agree with that? Anybody relate to like some kinds of, oh yeah, glitter. And especially nowadays, there's so many different glitter. It's not boring like it used to be, I remember like at 15, over 15 years ago when we were looking for with some cool one, which is so thrill when they have the new glitter and like it looks so dramatic, like three dimension. But it's nowadays, it's just so over everywhere and it's trendy. It makes nail techs happy, clients happy, because I don't know, it's just, I just always say glitter and sparkle is contagious. 
looks so fabulous. See, I cap it and I, you see that my motions always tap it from the sides toward to the center. So then it keeps the shape of the nails is so nice. Sorry, I have this guy underneath, right? Hello, everyone. Hi, J, S, N. Okay, let me try this. You wanna see this? This is a pure white. I'm gonna try to see how it turned out with the clear. And um, let me see. Can I get one of this? Sorry. I'm gonna get one of this. Thin, mm -hmm. thin, red. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it. Yeah. I'm so excited, and like today we'll get a whole day of all like liquid can powder. Let me move on the white one on the side. Let's do this guy and see how it turns out. As I'm so excited, like great, we got to learn it together. Hey, why not, right? Pick up seventy percent of the clear. 30% of pure white. I can see that it's have more pigments because it's white now. I'm gonna make it a little shorter. Oh, it looks good. So I'm not worried about like getting a perfect uh, bubble now. You know why? Because it's a cuticle. I want to make the cuticles area. It looks nice. And then also each beads and portion you do you're gonna make sure you blend this right here because then you don't want a big lumpy pick another and then you can do a smaller portion okay you don't have to get big portion because then it's hard if you're bigger it's hard to controlling it i like that Another one. Pick up another bead. And make sure that you pick up your monomers need to be like a little bit wet so then that's where you can control the products better and get smaller portion if you get a smaller portion it's easier for you to control it bigger beat it harder to control it looks not bad and let me see, I am going to use this one. Looks so beautiful. Thank you so much, Lily. Lily. Oh, it looks so cute. And I'm gonna add this one. What is that called? This one? Oh, tiny sky. Okay, shiny sky. I'm gonna brush a little bit of clears in here. You know why? So then I can adhere my uh, this glitter on. You don't have to if you don't feel like you want it, but I it, I just add it on. Just cute. Just. Just a little, less is more. You don't have to do a lot. But you feel like me, sometimes I really want to bling them. It doesn't matter. You choose your own style. We can inspire from each other and then you create your own style and then your own techniques with that. I think I'm good with this. I think it looks good. I'm gonna cap it with the clear. Deep my brush into my clear, and then I can work on and tie the nails. And make sure you share when you are doing a service for clients. It's sorry, it's hard. Make sure that I have it. See, um, 
somehow Facebook. I usually till the nails down so then that's why it won't running on the side. So the brushes are really clean when you guide them down. And if you missed any of the um, spot space, don't worry, do not panic. Just work, control your powder first, and then you can go back and cap wherever spay or edges or spot that you've been missing. Because if you oh, is this one missing? Then you forget that you are control your powder beads right now. You might like they might dry really fast and then you get stuck with the big humps of the powder so I would focus on this and clean this one first great sorry clean that Make sure you clean it underneath so you don't have all the excess powder. Just clean it first. I, I couldn't see on this side, sorry. Great. This excess powder is gonna come off as well. Great, I'm gonna let it dry. Lily's helping me buffing also then we can do some crystal on it I'm so excited to be here with you another night's light tutorial all right give that to Lily let me see that I can do some like Pink. Can you grab me the pink one there? Oops, sorry. Look at that. You want to see this one? I'm in the mood of acrylics right now and sharing with all of you. We can do that one. Mm, maybe I should do this pink for Valentine. Pink and newt. I can do pink and newt. Can I get the, can I get this one, last of this okay. color? What kind of color? Thank you so much, Sarah. Sarah said if you have any question, if you would like, you can DM Sarah as well. Thank you, Sarah. It's another collection I do really adore as well. Uh, I will do this pink one first. Okay, let me go into the pink. I am done with this white. I'll do the pink and white later. Let's try these two together, how it turned out. All right. It feels like busy. Do you think it's just too busy? Can you see it? Can you guys in Instagram see it? All right. Dip my brush into the monomers. Let's see. How it turned out. I'm excited with this one too. So usually I do like either you go with to 70% of the nails and it's really depend on how as I will explain it earlier you can have your um, ombre to be half of the nail half and half or you can have the uh, ombre in like 60% and 40% which is mean that you can have um, the darker color in 60% and then the lighter color is in a 40% or other ways. So I always blend right here, which is the blending the connections up between the lighter pink and then the darker pink. I don't know, this one it looks like, what do you would call this color though? Like it looks like a salmon, but it could be peach, uh, I don't know. Like it's cherry blossom colors to me, but I could be wrong. So it's great. 
You see that how I blend it like that? So you don't want it too much. Oh, wrong way. So I am going to using the nude colors and in this time I am gonna do pick just smaller beads first and place them right here and then when it still wet I am gonna guide my powder like blending you just like tap and gentle and like guiding it down I would not like pull them because if I do it's gonna pull all my glitter uh, my um, powder off so I would do really gentle it looks so gorgeous I don't know how your end but my end is so beautiful so look if you look at this, then I did. I was well, talking to you, doing a live in ABC. I do second beats, which is right in the same way as my a first beat finish. So then that way I can, this is the first step i working with my blending ombre. So this is a great suggestion for uh, beginners or all the expert, like, you know, if you start, you know, playing with the ombres, this is great, you know, kind of one of the technique out of a thousand different techniques everyone sharing. But then that's why it keeps you from uh, panicking from, oh my God, it's my ombre is like, oh, why is not blending out? Because you were too busy working on the cuticle area. So just this information for someone just tuning in now, I did say it with the first couple of nails, but I would like to repeat it because then that's where you can see that now a solution is so, you know? So I'm going to pick out another bead now this one, I'll get it close to the cuticle. I can't see it like there, but I will try it. And then you're gonna get it closer to the cuticles and then push it up so then that the cuticles will not like running or it's too much on it and you can't five them up. And then you gently blend it, tap and blend it. So now, if you want to, it looks so gorgeous. Should I put some glitter on it? Should I put some of my um, blast of colors? Or should I leave it alone and do crystal? You tell me, because I already have a crystal I'm gonna pick for it. Can I please get that one? The pink one right there? No, right there. Right there. Yep. I already have this I want to put on, so maybe I should leave it alone, right? You pick, you pick. I love to hear from you all. Heart, no, leave it. Okay, now by Dora. What powder are you using? I am using a chisel nail art and then design by Tony Lee to blend it. If you have something similar at the salon, you're more than welcome to use it to play out with this look. No, you, okay, so don't put anything on, right, Miss Risa? We'll leave it there. Crystal, okay, then we'll do crystal later. But before we do crystal, I am going to cap it with my clear. And it's right here the way I want to cap it. Because I do not want to accidentally, if I like, you never know because you, you might have an experience like this, okay? You're like, starts talking and get into the story with the clients, you feel the clients, and you forget that you're firing them maybe too much. Usually it's not really rare it happened to me, but just in case it happened to anyone, just in case. Cap it to secure it. Looks great. It looks dull now because I cap it, but then later when we are putting top coat on, oh my god, it so feels so satisfied. Great. Now I let it dry. Oh, we did a lot today. We did so many cute today. Oh, let's do one more. We do want pink and white, so then I can show you your pink and white ombre. Um this one, Lily, Lily. Oh, Lily, you are awesome. Thank you, Lily. Uh, okay, one more nails. Should I do one more nails, pink and white right here? I can do pink and white on this nails. All right, 
I love this like uh, little seal letter tips because I'm gonna using this. You have some like have a nude colors or milky white, more than welcome to using it. I am going to use my white. Same thing, if you're just tuning in, hello from ins to Instagram and Facebook, love you all. And I am really appreciate you joy with me. I know it's a long video, but it's just such a really helpful and a great video. Joy with us, so then we can able to share with you its basic techniques. So then you can learn that. Um, we're trying and we're sharing with you as much as we can, but sometimes it's like it really, um, it's not like you are with us, like with me, so I can show with you like what we can able to do. Uh, better but then at least that I show you like this you can practice your spare time after your clients you can practice it and then enjoy it and then let us know how you're doing so I am using like about 70% and I just gently tap it down you see my stroke you just tap it down And I am going to go in uh, now is for all beginner pick one beat first and no panicking just pick one beat when it's still wet now what you want to do is to guide it down gentle you don't want to pull them because they're wet so it's easy to control but however it can be really it can be really hard if you pull them or you drag them down too much then you might pull all of your powders away so really gentle like you're treating like a little baby gentle touch like a feather touch if you if it's that easier for you to understand that, that what my uh, technique is and I'm going to the second bead get closer to the cuticles and then I am gonna put just a little bit just like now you're adjusting with cuticle and then using your body of the brush blend it out with the first and second beads if you are feather touch let me show you on the side your stroke should be smooth like that okay it shouldn't be lumpy it should be really nice and smooth like that and then this in the end you can cap that this is so beautiful, ombre. I'm staying with you, like as you're seeing it like this, it take me, you know, uh, of course that some practice for this, but I know you guys can do so well because when I share with the techniques like this, it's make it so easy for everyone. So I know you all can do it really well and achieve it so fast. So now I'm gonna using, uh, clear to cap this one I'm so excited because this one we're gonna do is uh, ombre diamond dust pixie I'm so thrilled I can't wait stay tuned with me let me know how you enjoy this you know with tutorial with liquid and powder we don't have any uh, products for liquid and powders we have so many people will ask but if you have some similar and you have a lot at your salon um, please enjoy using them with the techniques we sharing. We throughout the different video, we select different uh, products that it works fit with our video. Uh, it doesn't with our video, it doesn't sponsor by any company. So we just like pick what is a product is work the best and we can show for you. That's how we do. Okay. So then, if you have question with um, liquid and powder, we can send you some information. But then if you have the similar powders like that at your salon, you can test it out and play with this. You're amazing. A lot of different colors that you have at your station can be turn out really beautiful design. We'll just make sure that you know, Facebook and Instagram can see it. Great. So I'm cap it and you see my motions that I always like guide from a size and use the body of my brush. Doesn't matter if you have a size eight brush, 10 brush, 12. Usually I use size 12, but my 12 have been uh, messed up by, so sad, it's okay. I'm using a 15 right now, just in case you're asking. You know, if you learn how to control your beads of your powder, it doesn't matter the big brush or the smaller brush, it will do your work if you can control it. And 
here you go I'm gonna let it dry and I will get that it looks so cute though all right so let's move this I'm so in love with this I want to use this so bad do you want to see one nails I did it for clients I bling that completely out it's like I would do this clear and then you can do it as a loose powder. You wanna see that? They say, oh my god, Nancy, yeah, show us. This is Blast of Colors. What number of powder from uh, Tony? The powder, this one? Number three. The nude one is number three. And then number 12. 12 and three, Sarah. Okay, another one, okay, pick up my clears, you know what, it looks like I'm brushing it, it, it is, I am brushing it though, thank you Lily, mm -hmm. Lily is my psychic, She's like a husband at work for me. <laughs> they don't know what to do without Lily. We've been working together for like three years. If just in case you're asking Lily, I tell you answer before you ask. Hi, Genesis. Hey, hi, Nail Queen. Thanks so much for tuning in, darling. Okay, I'm finished with this. I don't know which one you want to see though. I would do like maybe this. This one. Can't see it. Oh, we don't need this. Just in case you ask for a number, you let me know. I'm going to use this, okay? Just get a clear to get a base. Look at this, everyone. <gasps> oh my goodness. Even do like a trend randomly. You don't have to feel completely now. So you can just randomly. Maybe I should do like that. They're so adorable. Look at that, how sparkle it is. <gasps> I don't know how you can see it, but my aunt, it's just so sparkle. I can't really even see it. I'm like, how? And if you want to ombre, you can. You know how to ombre it. I'm using uh, techniques. You can do this with liquid and powder. Encapsulating also you can do with condensed glue gel that I got to share with last um, several video. If you miss it, please head over to YouTube and Facebook. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Because no um, smaller question is uh, no question is small, so you can ask anything, okay? We love the questions. If we can't get right back to you, don't. Um, Hesitate to ask again. I don't know. Is it gonna stand? Maybe. Can you get me a different color though? Can you get me the red one? Sure. Get me the red one right there. The red one. Okay. I will get the red on the top of the pink. I don't know. You can consider it a pink, but it looks like a pink. It's maybe a purple, but it could be a pink. It's really, however, I'm like the way you look at it. So I'm gonna brush a little bit clears on because they start getting the powders that setting and I am gonna brush it on because then I can pick up some of my uh, this one is so adorable I was thinking that you can do it like just by itself like just clear nails if the clients come in you can do it clean as this one you are like can do anything with this you will never go wrong with this like versatize. Do so much with this. If you are on, um, well, our team is Brad, is really enjoying it, and he's tuning in on uh, Tuesday for uh, Back to Basics Crystal Placement. If you are haven't seen him with his work, it's uh, designed by Brad. He's a really passionate person. He's awesome. 
and he's so good with beginner. I got an opportunity to help him access me one of training class. He is awesome. So personality is fabulous, really willing to learn and helping everyone else. So that his um, Instagram is designed by Brad and he's gonna be his live on uh, uh, Instagram on Tuesday at uh, 7 uh, p.m. 7 p.m. Um, hold on, what is that shaking though? Is that Lily shaking? It's a chair though. Yeah. I think the chair hit the table. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Look at that, it looks great. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you, Sarah. It looks good though, right? It looks like stand out a little bit and you can feel up the nails. It's up to you. I just like, in a moment I said, oh, it looks like contrast color. I'll put in one guys and then I'll be done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, looks great. I think it's so beautiful. Great. I'm gonna cap that with the clear. And I'll move it close to the cuticle so then that way I can cap completely the cuticles. And I usually when I do the cleanse nail, you can till the finger down a little bit so then that way the powders, the cap, any powder like clear powder or any colors you uh, apply for clients, it will kind of flowing toward to the end of the nails without it's running on the sides. Like it makes the nail look so bulky and then you're like a panicking, you couldn't control it. I use the body of my brush and guide that to the center of the nails. It looks so cool though. It looks so dull right now, which is normal. I would not expect it to be sparkle after like coating a clear, but it will be so satisfied when we're doing a top coat. Great. I'm so obsessed with it. Sarah, I can't wait to see you so you can do your beautiful nails. We would be in a Twitch show if you haven't like know a little bit about us, like a team, we're a little bit like a crystal obsessed, you know, like in a Twitch show, we would stay until like two or three o'clock, like, and do each other nails gorgeous. And so that is one of the sweets there along with the whole team. Hey, Miss Elsa, thanks so much. Beba, thanks so much, sweetie. Hi, Nanny. Nails, pins. Thank you so much. Great, we done with this one? No, this one, give it to Lily. You don't need to do it, Lily, what happened? Okay, I think we're done, like how many nails now? We done, oh my God, we did quite a, like, we kept oh, so many. We have power. We have power All right, power. make sure you wipe off this burst. If I call it. Here, you don't need to. Uh, tip and trick, tip and trick. For this, how you clean this one. So after you're done with clients, you make sure you get on that and you clean this really well so it's released all the excess powder off from the brush, okay? And then, uh, right here, and then you would do, using your paper towel, I will not touch on that because I don't wanna ruin my um, hair, the Kolonsky, wipe it off. And by the end of the day, usually I put it like it's, this is like the, your hair and you would want a conditioners with your hair and then you will put your cuticle softener coat, coat over it coat over and leave it alone on the side like that and if you have uh, containers that you can put it in so then it won't get dust and collecting dust and everything for it to so protect your brush because your brush is like a tool like a weapon when you fight out in you know the field because you have a good weapons you can do your work so sharp and precise. So then you put your cuticle softener in that. And 
you can't ready for using a next um, clients or next day. So I would put uh, conditioners, I mean the nail softener, uh, cuticle softener, I'm sorry, cuticle softener. Uh, I would not put cuticle softener which have a lot of, you know, like percent of acids in it. So just like a regular soft softener. So it would be really good. Well, we don't have the acrylic brushes um, at the moment. But I would really want to share with you because in that way, you can protect your investments. You don't want to ruin your brush in like it's just one service of clients. So we love to share all the tips and tricks so then you can protect your investment, utilize your investment and protect your investments nicely. And that's like a brush, it's a good brush, it's expensive. So that's good to protect it nice. Will you be in Pasadena in May? Thanks so much, Balas. Thanks so much for the question. It's a really great question. We are, um, I'm not sure with the shows. We have some several shows that it has scheduling. We are going to be, I know that confirmed the show, we are going to be in um, uh, the nail tech event in Smoky, which is in July. We'll be in Orlando. And then we're going to be in ABS, Chicago. And we're going to be in Premier Columbus, Ohio. So all the, uh, the show, you're seeing it. And then also the more shows coming. is i waiting for the all scheduling. And also we will going to have the class in New York City during a fashion week in New York. If any of you are in town, would love to have you, you know, enjoying it, the class. The more information is coming later. It's going to be a great class. It's a six-hour class in 10 from you, like from a basic crystal placement to really advance. So I'm so excited. Uh, please stay tuned for more information to come. And also, when you take a class, you also get a good products to take home as well, special for like all the different tools and everything. I'm gonna close everything so I won't spill it. So Lily, wonderful Lily, has already shaped it nicely for me. She buffed it, it's so nice. Oh my God, it's, I'm so in love with them. Look at that, we did so many today, everyone. I'm so proud of all of you. You know, I know that you could have a lot of choices, like sitting in the bar, or even maybe you are at the bar right now and then still watching me. How wonderful is that? Or you be out your dinner with your husband, whatever. I say, wait a minute, let me tune in with see what's up with Nancy and Glissa Sissy and such. Because and I might pick up some new technique to do with clients because it's Monday, it's a holiday. Some of you might be take off, but some of you might be slammed with the clients. So please take the techniques and make a lot of money. That's what we want to see you successful like that. We're like thrilled to see you doing so well. Okay. Hey, Sophia, you want that glitter? Sophia, today's the last day extended, sweetie. So don't um, miss the opportunity. So I can, you know, check with you later. So, okay, Instagram is the time is running out and is we only have two minutes left but i am still gonna be here because we are gonna finish like crystal diamond dust pixie and then crystal placement it's gonna be another best part so do not miss it please if you miss me just tune right back because i'm gonna turn it right back in to see everyone we to put top coat like one minute let me do one top coat on this because i want to see it no wipe top coat <laughs> they put the top corner, I can see it. Okay, let's put the top corner on this one. So it's satisfy you. Top coat, ready? Look at that. We have one minute left and we're still like not gonna give up. <gasps> Look at that. It's kind of milky, white smoky. Okay, pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds and then you'll be good. Chris will, um, Yes, can you please DM us? Uh, if you're on Instagram, on Facebook, there's gonna be the class of six hours certifies with the products and everything, and the price really, really affordable and reasonable. It's so awesome. We love you guys so much. We do it because of for you guys. So 
I believe that the date is gonna be uh, February 9th. You're gonna see the post and the poster and the flyers gonna come in uh, shortly. Um, and also, there's gonna be more detail what it's gonna be included in you know in the techniques in the class as well as the products we you going to get. You will get nothing to lose but earn a lot of products and also gain a lot of and learn so much techniques. So we love you guys so much. That's how we put the program together to really want to see your successful in your business and your career. I mean, bad not feeling well, but watching you work. Share to the story. Sorry, Instagram. Hey, everyone. Just wait for Instagram for a minute, and I'm just like waiting, everyone. But I'm showing you my nails right here. My wonderful, beautiful nails. Shorter, but I love it. None of them have come off, even though I'm really hard with them. Really hard with them. I'm telling you, if I'm hard, like, not like just kidding. I can do a dish here, doing clean. Like, you know how we're doing it at the housework. Like, after you get off work, spend time with the kids, and you start seeing things, and you start cleaning. That's how it me. Look at this one. But this nail is still stay on my fingers. It mean that. Look at this. Usually I have a longer fingers nails, but this time I'm doing it short so it's easy for me to show it on the camera instead of getting a distract. But look at this cute pom pom. So cute. Let me get this pom pom. Like, eh, like so cute. And then you can take this off. The clients love it. I have a client that, you know, she's already like, okay, I'm in. I'm going to get on my. And this one is spinning. Crystal centerpiece. So when I, if I'm not here with all of you, I'll be in office, like, working. Then I'm spinning it. Like, I'm spinning on the spinning ring spinning. It feels so satisfying. It's so cute. It comes with six different colors. Pom-pom is 15 different colors. So I'm going to put it on the side because I am... I'm going to do some nail design for all of you. So I'm going to put it right on the side right there. And then we can uh, put it back in after I'm done. I did so many different cool things. All right. This is so gorgeous. I want to start with Diamond Dust Pixie. Because this is one of uh, the really beautiful crystal that I love. I could wear a whole set like that. Would you? Lily, would you wear this set? Yeah. So beautiful. Lily yeah. said yes. Lily said, Lily in. in. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, lash and uh, acrylic lounge. No, uh, lash and acrylic lounge. No. So we when we put the um, uh, crystal on, it's not. Because I am going to share with you the techniques, how to using a precision glue. This is a game changer, and it's going to be your crystal bestie. I'm going to show you right now. Lily buff nicely. I am going to using condensed glue gels and then the no wipe top coat. So if you haven't get chance to check it, this one out, that's the trifecta for you because you ask it for it. That's why it's here for you. It's all three in one. Condensed glue gel, no wipe top coat, precision glue, and crystal crystal uh, mega mix all different sizes and the colors thank you so much lily yes, love you we'll see you on monday yes, and then i want this is a game changer this is a three step if you are struggling with the crystal placement and you're afraid of to get catching your hair the clients is like oh my gosh i love the crystal but it's keep catching on my hair catching everything it's just a nightmare so this is the one that you would like to get it on your desk for your crystal placement. So I will show you step by step so you're seeing that exactly what I'm talking about. Glue gels. And I am going to using my uh, cute twin tip brush right there. And the dual end is the other end is my light brush. So I am going to using, just in case you want to see what I am using. They're so condensed thick density so that's why it will hold your crystal in one place you can use it for a flat back crystals or you can use it for your charms and chains and any accessory for the nails 
So for the first time, if you're using our trifectas, you might feel like notice that it's a little bit in like condensed. How can you able to get? So you get a good amount. You don't want to do too much, but also you don't want to do too little because then it's gonna too much is gonna flood your crystal. The too little is not gonna heal your crystal properly. So I would do a good generous amount. You can see that how I was like the same. You apply the glue gels and gels on it. Like you blend it really well, and then I will go right. After that, with the no wipe top coat right on the top of the Ankir uh, glue gels. This will be completely done after you cure with the crystal. And also, the condensed glue gel and a no wipe top coat will help to suck and like uh, grip your base of the crystal nicely. Great. Put on the sides. My um, crystal picker, they've been with me for a long time. Okay, here let me see this one. I like that. Okay, I am going to using a pink diamond dust pixie. I have it with me right now. And then the white AB diamond dust pixie. So I will create the looks of ombre to matching with this. I am freaking obsessed with this. So pink first, you can do the bigger crystals. All you can do small is really it's up to you. Um, if the clients want like, oh Nancy, I want a lot, then you give them more. If they want, oh, I just want to look so decent, I don't want too busy, then okay, you give them just little. But it just it's up to the clients that whatever they prefer, we do it. I'm using a, a clear AB. It's so gorgeous. Hello Instagram, thank you so much everyone. Um, who is that say not feeling well? I hope you're doing better, sweetie. Uh, get a lot of rest, drink a lot of water. Um, I forgot who is it, so we'll say hi earlier. But just make sure you take good care of yourself, okay? Nothing feel good when you're not feeling well. Okay looks even good like this but we are going to use two of them I am going to use the white first can you open that one for me please thank you so much Chris it's mean a lot to us thanks so much for the tuning in sweetie okay Eve with the clients Usually when I do, I'm going to hold the tray right here and then gently pulling in so you don't want it being too high up because all that, the beads going to really accidentally get off from the tray. So you want to stay right in. And then now we're going to sprinkle the white first. Just tap it in the bottles. Tap gentle. And I'm just kind of blend a little bit because I'm going to the pink one right now. All right, happy with that. I will give it a little bit blending. Can you see me from Instagram? Put it on the side. And I will be using a different tray because I do not want to contaminating my uh, clear AB and my pink, which is this is an ombre diamond dust pixie. That's a collection you're seeing it. We um, got a lot of opportunity to be in a trade show to showing off to you, and then we have been lately. We have so many people uh, asking and requires for can you doing the live video with a diamond dust pixie? If you know how you can able to achieve it, and then why the diamond dust pixie is not gonna stay nice and sparkle? Why it's like it looks covers with all like a top coat? So here you go. That's you uh, request for, and we are doing it for you. And I'm gonna open the pink ones. Same thing. I'm gonna put the pink. Uh, hold the nails in the tray. And sprinkle it in oh my goodness so beautiful this blending so nice can you see the ombre with me I don't know how your end but my end is so gorgeous I could wear this all day if you need to do it this you can turn it on this side 
Great. Stop right there. We put it on the side right there. And then now I am going to tap on the side. Hello, Instagram. If you don't want to do it on the fingers, you don't have to. And if you have a glove, you can work with that. Or if you have your uh, um, crystal picker using the side on uh, the end, precision side to adjusting it. However you would like to do that technique. I would do, I would guide and tap just gentle on the side of the nails, but I do not pull it because if you pull it down, you accidentally gonna pull all your diamond dust pixie because it's still wet right now. It's not here yet. I'm going gentle. Wipe my, if you have a glove, then make sure you wipe the gloves to do not have any excess glue on it because if you touch on it, it's gonna like, it's just make the crystal turning dull or it's not shiny anymore because you cover it with the glue gels and it take away from the size and sparkle of your crystal. Great. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna pop into lamp. Can you see the pink and white pixie with me? I can see really beautiful in this end. I don't know how your end is, but maybe later when we take a picture, it's gonna be so much better. All right, I'm gonna pop this guys into the lamp for about 60 seconds and I'll go back and show you with the tip and trick how to keep that nice and double secure. Um, who is that question? It is acrylics lounge. So I will answer and I will show you how you can doing it. Okay, good. Can you put that one? No, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Hey, beautiful woman. Hey, it looks awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, AC Nail. Thank you so much, AC. Yes, the website is in the bio. So Rebecca is on the uh, and their website. How to order the glue gel? Rebecca is on our website page. Thanks so much, AC, for answering the questions. And here's the tip and trick: if you have the excess one, you're gonna pull it. You're gonna pull it back in. The extra is so gorgeous, look at that. You put it back in and close it because whatever is nice and clean, is not contaminated with the glue gel, is gonna be so nice and slick and you just pull it right back in and save that for your first future's use, okay? Do not waste it. And I'm gonna pull this one back in as well and close. Also, you can do this too. You're gonna see a lot of different like ombre collection together. This is one of that, and I'm so excited. And this one is one of the color of uh, classic blue, and that's one as well. They're so beautiful. If you, we got chance to see you in one of the trick show. You get to see in person. It looks so beautiful. This one is so nice. Let me dust this off so then it won't take away from our focus. To clean that background nicely. All right. It feels so weird. Okay. Good. Good. Look at that. Ta da! Beautiful. Okay. And then now. I am going to using this one of the Crystal Bestie. It's for the past two years, so many clients love it, and then it's helped so much for and you know so the problems and the solution for how like this one you might easily you when you're done, but then might catching on the client's hair if it have some edges or gaps right between the crystal. So now we're gonna go in. This is really cool and amazing. I love this guy because it's not only do one feature for us but you do also two three however you utilize it the other end it is a brush so in case that you have a clients like they finish almost finished right now and say oh can I get some halo like crystal along with my key code? this is you can use this right on the top of that and place your smaller SS three four five six on the clients and then key it in 60 seconds and you can go back and using right in your uh, needle ends. I'm using my needle ends because 
I will go into like right here in the cuticles area you can squeeze just a little bit and when you I usually examine it first like check it first if it feels scratchy then I squeeze a little bit if you can see just a little bit glue gel will go a long way so you don't want to squeeze them too much because if it squeeze out too much it might really a high chance of flooded your crystal we don't want that we want our crystal to stay nice and sparkles I'm gonna turn you don't have to turn the clients if you sometimes you turn it on the side so it's helps so much better I'm telling you, I'm sorry with you that if you have your clients like if you have your clients you're doing on the natural nails and on the actually the nail it's gonna be even better than to see me doing with the swatch so gorgeous and you would check if you see any gap between crystal if you remember earlier I did I tap them which is I will kind of you know tap them to get them really stay tight together so then that way your crystal diamond dust pixie not only looks pretty also stay really tight and compact and it's really hard for them to like falling off because the closer the tighter the crystal together the longer it's gonna last you can use that uplines for both diamond dust pixie and 3d crystal cluster also the flat back so I'm gonna pop into the lamp for about 60 seconds and this is now gonna be completely beautiful done I had to hop off just to those glitter and star leveling. Yes, it's just the this this glitter and star. I'm telling you, K Vala's nails is. I don't know how many services you can get out. You have a lot out of this, but here's the thing: it's a great ideas and a great designs that the client's gonna be so thrilled. Because and then don't forget to when you check it out, you can get twenty percent off. Well, today's the last day for a special promotions. And then if you buy $150, uh, $150 you get free uh, shipping as well to do the last day. So take advantage. And if you see something that in, on the website that you've been looking for and you can't find anywhere, we have it. We even have these cute things that everybody will ask for. There's the banner. If you have the big frame, like this frame I have it on, right? And then you have a hard time. You can do like this one on the top of the nail. Or you can do encapsulate underneath. We have this nail that we do encapsulating last week. If you missed my video, please check them out on YouTube or Facebook. This is so cute. I did that encapsulate underneath. And also I did it with um, on the top. And I'm using this to bend my um, frame. It's really easy though. It's really simple to do this little cute frame that is just like this one right there this one is nails done I will share quick for any of you who are just new uh, glitz lover just tuning in like this one for instance I just need to like place them right into my frame right there you can place it with your fingers too just lay them right here and then using your little bander and press it gentle if you press it more and deeper and they have two sizes one is smaller size and one a bigger size so after you get bend it is pick it out and it's bend really nicely if you press it more you can bend more and it's go right into the apex and the c curve of your nails fit perfectly So I am closing this. If you're using a uh, prison glue gel, do not forget to don't do this cap away. Keep that because it's gonna prevent from uh, clocking the glue gels. So just quick tip and tricks right here. This is called metallics frame banner. It's really come handy. I like that guy because it's helped so much. One beautiful nails done. It's two nails done it looks this one looks so beautiful i don't know if i want to do any crystal on that just perfect encapsulating this one is another one should i do some crystal on this one you tell me but i will definitely do crystal on this one i would do that crystal with uh can i crystal tray please i can do the top coat for this one You know what I want to do? 
I really want to do is for this one. It's so stunning. Let me share with you. Can you get me um uh the foil set? <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. I am going to do our uh, purple diamond shard. Did you see a foy there? I'm gonna show you something is really cool and unique than that because I don't want to cover this cute things away. I am going to use my uh, premiums I Ho Chan before. Let me move this one because we're going to do this next project. God, everyone look at this I get more nails we didn't know that we did so many of them if you miss it you can rewatch it earlier when we did it all different techniques and I am so thrilled I can't wait we have this one we're gonna dress it up too we'll do one with purple and ones with like unicorns glow in the dark so stay tuned with me and this one we can do is with Do you have a pink for it? I got it. I got it, everyone. I'm gonna use this one. Do you have a pink one? The, that pink one? Okay. So I have my um, palettes right there. I'm gonna use my IHO Premium IHO Chanfer Foy. Just give it a little drop right there. You don't need a lot, just a little. And then I am going to using my tin tip brush and I am going to draw that cute little nails you're just doing it randomly you don't have to be in like because like a marble vent is like a look so just randomly I don't want to cover my nails for a beautiful glitter so I'll do just randomly one and you I can I know that you can do so many different one too so I think I'm good I'm gonna pop into the lamb for about 30 seconds with this premiums I hold you can do it just 30 seconds Is that clear powder and silver glitter? Yes, it's Nancy. We using that earlier. If you miss our live earlier, we did this one, sweetie. We did the blast of colors. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We did the uh, touch of colors. So it's, I did this clear powder with a little bit milky white and I did that glitter on. Hey, Sarah. Hey, sweetie. Thanks so much for coming back. 
and now we are gonna do some fun nails on this do you have this the pink one okay sorry i'm gonna pick that pink oh there's the same there's another one a more purple one or red you want red no I want something purple or pink. Should I do this or should I do red though? I like this. Try this because we did red before, did we? Okay, let me press that on firmly, okay? And you were never gonna get like a mega mistake with this. I hold Chan for Foy, I promise. You were never gonna get that issue at all. It will transfer completely the image for you so you don't have to worry about if you um watching some of my live video i do it live in front of you you can see how it works okay press firmly you can see the veins is like up like right here right let me pull this uh film out and see how it turned out Look, ready And you can draw a different way too. It doesn't have to be necessary the same way, like what I did. But I just want to show you the concept. You can do something similar like this. And you can do any colors. You can do red. You can do gold. We did gold before. We did silver. We did a lot of different ones before. And look at that. It changed for completely the image. And now I'm going to cap this because I don't want it hanging there. And it's not a cover cap with the no wipe top coat. This guy is so shiny. Let me do this quick first. I'm going to coat it underneath first. Usually I do that for the clients have a clear nails. They love the look of it because sometimes they look at their nails underneath so they can see the beautiful shiny sparkle underneath. And look at that. They are so beautiful. And also you can do this glitter instead of this clear. You can do it as well as the pink one. We have the touch of colors and... um. Uh, blast of colors and you can find them both in the section of New Year's specials so cute okay I'm popping the lamp for about 60 seconds oh Genesis you get better sweetie take a lot of um, waters migraine I had that before a long time ago when I after my car accident so I did okay now but I gotta take like when you see that you have to like take your medication right away so you won't get like dizziness hello your girl to love thanks so much for tuning in sweetie we are uh, uh, Lindsay we are located in the heart of Pensacola Florida Thank you so much, Last and Acrylics Lounge. Thank you so much for the love and support. We um, appreciate you all so much. Sorry, face will keep. So I'm gonna try to wave back to everyone. Oh, this one. Then probably this another one that we probably don't want to get the, any crystal on it. I want to coat this. Everyone gonna see this. Are you ready for this one? You are ready. Uh, Michelle, I can't find the kits I asked for. Mich Michelle, you mean the glitter kits or this uh, trifecta? Are you mean about this kit? This kit's going under the two and glue gel. So you're seeing right in front is the trifecta. This company trying to do that easy for you to see it. This one, that's the kit. So you see it right in on the sections. Or you can type in the glue gels. It will pop up for you. And then all the glitters that we're using, if you go into the uh, New Year's special, you're going to find all that glitters and pom-pom and like uh, centerpiece and all sort of cool things there. So thanks so much, Instagram, for tuning back in. We love you so much. Today we have really productive. Like for the past few days, we have so much um, fun tutorials. We're so glad you're really enjoying it. And then if you have questions for that, you always can DM us. Or if you some of techniques you want to see that we haven't done, so please DM us. So then we can able to get it together and share with you in the next live videos. So this is the final look. I'm so obsessed with this. It's kind of go with that my milky uh, marbling look. And also that ombre. Um, 
pink and white and we have a diamond dust pixie ombre uh, two colors on it this uh, ombre diamond dust pixie is like a number zero nine zero two if I don't uh, get it wrong I think so because we uh, that is one of the really popular uh, best sellings uh, is combined so then you can do either you can do it by itself or you can do a pink by itself or you can do a clear AB by itself or you can do it together as an ombre so let's go into this one let's go into the top coat I'm so excited with this top coat look at that I'm gonna coat it underneath first. You can either do it for the clients underneath first because you don't want a touching on the nails. You do I usually do underneath first or do it after you key it. And then turn the client's fingers and doing a top coat. This is worth a thousands like word because so satisfied. It looks so beautiful in a three dimensional. Let me show you close before we pop into the lamp. And you know what? Another idea is okay. This is a technique, but also you instead of that star, you can use a heart. Do some hearts in there for um, Valentine. I will do some hearts on it. All right. Let me pop into the lamp for about sixty seconds. That's. That's kids. I'm telling you, this is not using it just for a Valentine. It's also using it for so many different like holidays. I can find myself using like a June like four, Easter times, uh, Saint Patty. Uh, like it looks so cute, like uh, silver, blue, and red can be awesome for like June like 4, um, Veteran Day or Memorial Day or whatever that you want to dress it up for the clients and nails. And then this two guys, like three, like a purple and then that's blue. It can be for like and a green and gold can be for Mardi Gras if you are down in South. This one can be a really like for black and white theme or uh, um, uh, what is that? Uh, Halloween. And then that kind of sort of colors can be in for fall colors. So you will never go wrong with this. And it's going to really turn back to your investment really fast. And clients love glitters as well. And then that's one also. I can see myself using a lot of really cute ones. I like that one as well. It's like a salmon color. But this is a loose color. A loose powder is so really vibrant and it's so sparkle so you each time you just use like if you see me doing earlier each time you just dip in just a little bit and like you just you just really bury they're already showing nice this is gorgeous it looks like three dimension I could wear this all day so we get four nails we achieve a lot today it's like really productive day and then I am going to using that two nails. Can I get that kit? I'm going to move that nails on the size for a minute. Then Facebook and Instagram can see it top right here. Cute nails. I am going to using this one of the kits. Okay. And I have. I am going to use this one, glow and duck on that. And then I am going to use the purple one on this one. That is so stunning. All right, let's get right into that. I'm going to use my condensed glue gel. This is work for all flat back. 3D charms, chains, any accessory, even like my centerpiece 3D spinning condensed glue gel. And you know why? Because it's so thick density. I can just let me do it upside down. It's not even running. So when you apply the first time using this, 
do not feel like it's really hard to work with because they are really thick density so all you need to do is just blend it out nicely and you need just that a good amount of condensed glue gels what do I have on the brush though oh probably I would using it to encapsulating the little guys bye bye oh can you wipe it for me please Okay. Can't believe it. Like if I coat it underneath, it looks so gorgeous. This butterflies, if you're seeing it's a dramatic, it's different from we have the set of butterflies, like a regular butterflies. It doesn't have a um hollow and it doesn't dramatic like a, this guy. So if you're seeing a two different butterflies on a section of dramatic leaders on that that is this one for it's so you gotta experience it yourself it's hard for me to it to tell to show you because they are so different um clothe that and also i'm going to use my no wipe top coat and then i am going to coat that on the top of my unkeer condensed glue gel let's go into beautiful purple right here somehow I got it's like the dust I'm not worried about I'm gonna just place them in And then using my SS10 uh, to coat that between. I really like that though. I want some. I want some crystal on it, but I do not want to cover completely of my. don't want to cover completely my uh, dramatic glitter underneath so I'm gonna just do it's right really nice but it looks neat it's my beads right there I know what I want to do. I'm just going to frame that using my um, silver and metal frame. Thank you so much for the love. And the support. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. It's fun. You can do with the frame a uh, plain, or you want to do with the one with the uh, crease and riches. It looks so stunning. Either way, it looks great. You know you can come up with something really cute adjusting my little middle raindrop thank you everyone I'm so enjoying it today today's the last video for the week and of course, I am going to see everyone again on Monday. And guess what? Monday, I got to announce who is the winner of 10,000 giveaway. 
so if you are just tuning in and just got to join with us today sorry you missed it because it was end last night but also there's gonna be more giveaways coming in for a 20k follower so please stay tuned it's coming and i can't wait up oh, something i stuck it in here Okay, so don't worry if you feel like this one is just actually what I'm gonna knock it off. And if you play the beats, don't worry if you get it in like a not perfect because we are going to adjusting that beats before we pop into the lamb. So this snail is really cute if you are um doing this for the clients you can uh, consult with the clients with the design usually with this design you get two things going on which is two designs going on which is you did uh, dramatic glitter oh I'm sorry you had three techniques in here three techniques in this design which is you did uh, dramatic glitter encapsulating and then also you did um, ombre techniques and then crystal placement so really a beautiful nails with so many different techniques. Clients will be thrilled and love it. Wipe up on the side. And then, oh. let me find, I just say my arrow right here. But if not, then totally fine. Oh, hold on. I know that I saw it. Instead of putting the longer drop, I put the smaller one. I like that. Something different, you know. But you can use the same concept and do different shape. There you go. Great, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna pop into the lamp because I do not want to cover too much. Then it take away from my butterflies. Thank you so much, Lee. Bye, Laurie. Pop into the lamp. Make sure it's good. It's not crooked or anything. I am so excited with the second one. The second one we're gonna do is that unicorn. I have it right next to me. Unicorn glow in the dark. And then I will have that pink. with that I'm gonna take this beautiful tray there's so many different colors and different shape I'll take that away so then it won't look too busy underneath we need this three guys together So this one are done, but I am going to using my pre-season glue to fill in to any edges and the gap between crystal, charms, frame. Usually I'm examined first. I feel okay, it's right here, it is scratchy right there because the connection between like the frame bar is kind of straight and then your apex is nice and it's curved so i'm gonna seal the end each time i just squeeze just a little bit you don't want to squeeze it first you want to feel them first check them first before you squeeze anything 
because if you are um, squeeze them first then it might be too much uh, glue gel for the crystal to handle so you just want to seal, feel it first before you like really seal them in I would do right here in the edges so then that way it won't catch in on the clients hair or socks or clothes and go along with the bar right there and you see, I'm just doing this around with the crystal. I do not squeeze on the top of any crystal as it might take away from the cut and the sparkle of the crystal. So I'm happy with that. I seal pretty much good. I check them really good. All the edges and then I gonna, when you squeeze just a little bit, what it does is gonna blend it in and it's covered completely and seal on the base. So when you place the clans nails into the LED lamp, make sure after 10 second flash gear, you're gonna make sure they rock their fingers back and forth. So then they will get right in the base of the crystal and seal them completely with LED light. Long nails are the gem glow in the dark it is a crystal but it's had the base it's that a it base that is glow in the dark so that's why it make the whole crystal it is close this that pretty crystal is amazing thank you so much close that oh did your order great thank you miss michelle fabulous i know you will love it so now I am going to using on this one that nails is completely done. I'm just here for 60 seconds. And this. Yeah, it's glow. Is is it close? Yeah. It's a glows in the LED light. When you have an LED light or so the clients going out for this um outside, like they will chalk automatically under the solar. So it's gonna be so stunning. So I'm going to condense glue gel because I am going to dress this nails up. This one is completely done. So gorgeous. And you know, before that I'm in for this, I am going to put the top coat. So then that's why it's go see really nicely underneath. If just the clients want to look at underneath of the nails and then pop into the lamp for about 60 seconds. I should have done it earlier, but I forgot. But now we can do it right after. Hello, fancy finger. Thanks so much for tuning in. All right, let's go to the last one. And we done like how many nails? Six nails. No, we did six nails. Sweet, four of them right here. So fabulous. So productive. I'm so enjoying it and just so into it with everyone. I'm going to apply this nails. And when you first start working with our trifecta, you might feel like a condensed glue gel is thick, but it's just normal like that. So just blend them. And you just need a good amount of uh, glue gels. You don't want too much because it's gonna flood your crystal. Also, you don't wanna do too little because it's not gonna be enough. So just blend them well. How are you, fancy fingers? Thanks so much for tuning in, sweetie. Close the cap of my brush and using a no wipe top coat this brush is really handy and float them onto the top of condensed glue gel which is i haven't cured the condensed glue gel that is still wet so this purpose will help holding oh my god they're so pretty i'm gonna pick that one I'm gonna pick the smaller side, the good side. I'm gonna do a center first. Oh my goodness, so pretty. They're so beautiful and gorgeous. And then when the best tip and trick for all the beginners who will start with the crystal placement, the closer, the tighter the crystal is gonna be, the longer it's gonna last. So when you're doing that, just make sure they are connecting tight together. 
think I have too many crystal in here. Can you um let me pull this half in here because they're so full for me. I got it. So much better. There's so many, so I'm get overwhelming. Which is okay. I can deal with that. It's so simple. You can see that how I'm doing it first. A bigger one. And then the mix, big centerpiece. That's why we have a special, like a special shape. So that's why that is your centerpiece. So you will never go wrong with a crystal placement. So each shape that we select is the meant to be for a lot of different designs. So when you start and like get to know with our crystal placement, you will have so much fun with this and your potential is limitless. So I'm so excited to see every single of you with your beautiful work. I know you guys are so talented and have you have to unleash your potential. You have to showing off your beautiful work, you're talented. Do not afraid to try something new because if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So I was sweating when I first applied the crystal placement. I'm just I'm like, no lie to you. I'm like, it's just really honest with you. I said, oh my God, what I am getting myself in I don't know how to do all this. It's so hard. It's so struggling with this. And look, I'm just like, because I start looking at all of them. I said, okay. I'm gonna get to know you, so please treat me nice. And it been good. So you see is my techniques when I place them. I promise if you place them tight together, you will never go wrong with them. I would keep saying it because it is literally. They will never you will never go wrong with them. So when I go in the corners, like on the edges like this, is going smaller size because then they can fill in uh, between that edges and gap. And also you can put this. I love it if you want to place some of your beads between that. You Here's the place that you're gonna place the beads in. You place right where your crystal uh, connect together. Thanks so much for the love and the support. I feel so much connection with everyone. I can feel you. I can feel like the same, we have the same, um, like a mindset. We always want to take our career to the next level. I am, my personally, I'm really so proud of every single of you to take your careers, your skill set to the next level. We always can learn every day and learn from each other's. And I'm not afraid of to learn. Like even some of you will share some idea. I okay, I will take it, I will learn it, and I will share with all of you. Let me see. Hold on. I sorry. Claws by J. I just got my order in the condensed glue gel, the precision glue and the top glue set. I love it so much that just had to put in other orders this morning because I just can't live without. Thank you so much, Claude by Chase. Did I say what? Like, thank you so much for such amazing product. Thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Hi, Michael Lee's. You know what? That is means so much to us. You know, it's just our passion is not like you seeing all the product, but every single products, every single product we select and we have it special customized and made it for every single of you we're thinking of you as in industry this industry is so driven and to in order to able to bring it what is a good quality not good quality and also a good technique for all of you because it's all the same mission and message that we would love to see your successful we not only just like share with your products but also we share all the knowledge and techniques so then you not only can utilize your product, but then you can show up, unleash your potential. So you will never know until you are like, try it. So thank you so much. Claw by, called Claw by Shea, right? Did I say it right? 
uh, reappeal now. So we are located in the heart of Pensacola, Florida. But also we are going doing all different trade shows coming. So please stay tuned and the classes as well. And then the class for ambassadors is coming in spring as well. So we're so excited and can't wait to share with all of you. Okay, that one is might be too small. You know what? I might. You see that I'm literally talking to you and I can create the designs. Like, sometimes you're seeing it all the masterpiece that I've done. But literally, if you are talking to your clients and you have a heart into this, and you can just, like, randomly or automatically, you're, you're like, um, I would call them like muscle memory which is it is because your brain will say okay we got this shape what we're gonna do with this that's what we're gonna do and then you'll get it down because it's every single shape we do we're thinking of you what you're gonna do with it it's just not randomly we just give it into the hand and then it's, okay here's a shape you need to do with it deal with this mm -mm. we have that in meant to be so then that's way is each of the designs that we get it we have the ideas for that so then when you start get to know what our product and our technique and skill we share you literally can just pick up any of the crystal jars or crystal mix bag you can really create so amazing design and you're being like so wow of yourself because you would think you can do it but yes you you did it and that is mean a lot to us. That is, we feel so good when you achieve this. We achieve it together. So let me see. Oh, you know what? Here you go. My, this is one of the really cool things. I love it. It's, this guy is arrowhead and it's solid and it's so nice. It's not halo, it's solid. So I love this guy. I have that so many times in my nails. It's really a make, um, enhance like a look of it. So it doesn't look the nail, it's just plain. It's more like a piece of jewelry. So I like that design because you know why? Because I didn't want to completely bling them out. Uh, then if I bling them completely out, then it take away from my beautiful ombre that we did it earlier uh, with our live video earlier. So I think I'm good. Do you think it's good? You like it? You like it? Let's look like that. And you see that how my crystal, I place them tight together. The tighter you are, then the really tight and connect together, the longer it's going to last. Just remember that. So when you place any of them together, you will never go wrong with this. I promise. As long as you place them tight, really tight together, before you put it in the lamp, make sure you get them tight together. So when they're tight together, they will never go anywhere. They're going to probably stay solid like that together until the clients come in and get their nails done again. So I'm going to pop into the lamp for about 60 seconds. Also, this nail, if you want to do more beads, you can. You can do two beads, three beads. It's really it's up to you. You can do more than just one. I would love to share with like some of the nails I did. It's like more than one do two so gorgeous it looks like a blending but it contrasts because we put it in a lighter nude pink wow we did amazing today we did a lot together it's so productive i love it like you as i always saying it we are like you are my energies and my inspiration, I inspire from every single of you. It just means a lot to us. My personally, it's really, really appreciate you guys for being here with us. It's so good to see you guys live. We sat together at Gala in Gatlinburg. Oh my God, thank you so much, Miss Sandy. Thanks so much for tuning in, darling. I was definitely gonna see you and we in the team gonna see you in um, and uh, this coming July nail tech event. So if you, if you are closer, the nail tech event gonna be in uh, Tennessee, Gatlinburg. So if you are closer, like if you are in the range of really closer to um, Tennessee, please join that um, 
nail shows i really really personal i really like it because it's have no loud music and it's all about nails and you get to learn so much and also glitz accessory and such hosts one of the class doing a show for an hour it's the free of charge you can join with us when you have the admissions come in to the show is it completely free for an hour also we have the demonstration at the booths as well and then you're gonna see so many different new product launching in this coming summer too so we are so excited. Are you gonna come in again, Miss Sandy? We're gonna be in there too. Design with acrylic. The color is beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, Mikey, Mikey Liz. Hi, Alexis, Nail Pots, how are you? Thanks so much, Claus by She. Did I say it's She? She, She. she. Shay, did I do it? If you're not, just correct me, okay, darling? Because I we don't get to see. Chris Nell, Chris Nell, I, w I wish one of our uh, influencer is uh, Miss Myra. She can speak Spanish. Oh, no, yes, Miss Hilda, too. Hilda speaks Spanish, too. I will can connecting her with you, Chris Nell. Can't wait for you folks to give away and now. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait. It's so thrill. Uh, long nails. Will you guys be in a teaching in other state? Yes, we are gonna hosting a class. It's coming uh, next month during a fashion week in New York in right in a uh, city. Sorry, Instagram. Was out again. Hey Instagram, thank you so much for tuning in. Somehow it's out again, but I come right back. I'm not giving up. I'm an hour and a half away. Yes, definitely. We would love to see you again. Oh, here? It is. Oh, don't touch it. Why? I'm going to using. Hello, how are you? Hi Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, we are coming to New York. It's the class gonna be in February 9th and you will see the poster come shortly with all the details and the class is really nice and from a basic to advanced and will mastery your um, crystal placement skill and along with a lot of others. So like if you are from like never get or get opportunity to apply the crystal on, you come to class and you will be a mastermind of that, like a master the skill from basic to advanced. So six hour class is really intense and it's really awesome. So if you are in New York in that uh, time, uh, please uh, check the class out. And also you will get a lot of products to take home with you as well. So I am going to use my pre-season glue. You have to experience this crystal by itself because my end is so sparkle. I don't know how your end is. I feel like right now, right here, I feel scratchy and I'm gonna seal, like squeeze just a little bit for all of you who are just tuning in. I just squeeze just enough. But you don't want to squeeze yet until you feel the scratchy. And then this is seal right here. It's gonna catch in your client's hair. I am gonna squeeze just a little bit of glue gel, uh, precision glue. Then it will seal that gap in the edges of the nails. And I'm gonna squeeze in between. You can squeeze on to the top of the frame, but I would not suggest squeeze on the top of the crystal because you might gonna accidentally cover all that, the shine and the sparkle of the crystal. So I'm gonna have it right there. I think I'm good. You see that how flawless and clean it is? Cause just squeeze in and it's go right in underneath and it's gonna blend into the edges. So when you cure it, it's gonna be really, really stay in nice place. So now here's a one tip and trick. If you have a client like Austin and you put it on using our system like a Trifecta condensed glue gel, no white top coat and precision glue and the clients like pop this off. Either you didn't get enough glues on it, give it a couple of 10 like trying on, then you will kind of control the products a little bit. Like the same when we're learning uh, liquid and powders and you know, we don't know it's the right ratios or it's too much or too little or too dry or too wet. It's same thing with this. So you blend them really nicely, but do not too, make it too thin or too thick. Too thick is gonna flood your crystal. Too thin is not gonna have crystal here. 
also is after when you pop into lamp you make sure after 10 second uh, flash keys you're gonna make sure the clients is gonna rock the fingers back and forth the reason it is because then that's why you're gonna key right on the edges of the nails so then if you turn it like this it will help so much can you put in a lamp for me and then you gonna make sure the clients are rocked back and forth and make sure that we have a proper key. Like sometimes it's our lamp and needs the bulbs. It's like, like I don't know how a different manufacturer make a different lamp. Some of them is last for 5,000 hours. Some of them like you have like all the bulbs doing great, but all of a sudden one bulb on the left side or the right side, it didn't key properly. It could affect the crystal. Um, it could affect that it's not gonna proper key for the glue gels underneath. So just that for the information that uh, that's for your preference and if you do that is usually it doesn't have do any issue at all we have so many clients going six weeks because they were out town with all these clients at three weeks as a regular schedule and four weeks they stay on really nice so I'm so enjoy if anyone have a questions for us we should have the um, information for class in New York I'm so excited uh, I gotta get opportunity to teach one of my mentors who is thanks to her is Patty she's uh, one of my inspiration that um, to guide me and help me to you know uh, growing in my career and she's is is great to in order it feels so like honor to be on her side for past eight nine years to be in nice seasons and we gonna be the class right in the heart of New York, in New York, New York City. So then if you are in town or you live closer, if you, if you are like having like a viable schedule, I would suggest that class because it's gonna help so much and take your uh, crystal uh, skills and crystal you know placements and all the skills to the next level. So then you can get out of the class you can sit back and really ensure that you're so confident in what you're doing even though like, i'm sharing with all of you here i'm continue sharing it every day and just only sunday that i'm not but then to help all of you who are not in any of state that we're going to able to get to know about the products but then we are going to be in premier orlando if you are in in june we are going to be in um nail tech event we are going to be in abs in chicago coming in april and also we're going to be in the shows in image um expo in houston and also we go are going to be in oregon uh, at the um Oregon Nail Exposed in May. So all the information and, and the poster and fires are going to be is coming up. So please stay tuned for uh, all the classes if you want to be hands-on because each class is you're going to come home with a good deal, good, good products with some of the good products, really good product. I have to say like even all that, um, the products with basic to get how you get started. Thanks so much, Instagram. I love you all so much. And uh, good luck with the enter to win 10,000 giveaway. Uh, I have reappears nails. So, okay, so the question you say where New York when uh miss michelle is new york is right in um city, and then we have that information the poster up is right in New York, New York. So, and then it's gonna be in February, Sunday, February 9th. And uh, the you wanna see the poster later with all information. And it's really good class and also it's really affordable and you also can take home with a lot of goodie and crystal to start your um, crystal placement skill. And yes, I have a problem with, okay, so here's a question from Re Appel's Nails. Yes, I have a problem with placing my crystal. How the problems do you have that you want to share with us so then I can help um, answer the questions? Mooncake Nails, hello, darling, how are you? Sorry, I didn't get to see you earlier. Hi, Miss Ashin's Nails. Hey, how are you? Do you know how much the class will be in Chicago? I would love to take the class. The, uh, okay, Fancy Fingers, 
the um chicago we don't have the class we are going to have an ambassador class is trainings in uh, springtime i think is march but the in uh chicago abs if you are attending the shows the uh we gonna have a booth there i can send you that we can dm you the poster the files for the information for that if you are attend the show that demonstration you can come to our booth all day long for three days to learn much if you can uh, at our booths and i will send you information and also in our post and if you scroll down as uh i think it's go up uh, down and you can see it in between there and uh if you are joining you attend the show that's it free to come into our booth to learn demonstrations and if you have any questions for us we are there for you and then you get to see the products in person as well i am doing well action nails thank you so much oh please do i do attend oh yes perfect you do attend uh the abs every year that'd be awesome we got a, an opportunity to get to see you Alina, how are you? Yes, you'll be there. So you'll be there. Just don't forget to stop by in our booths. I will also will send up. Oh, can you do me a favor or do us a favor? DM us and then just send us the DM. Like, can you send us the poster? So then we send it to you because if we we'll have so many posts, screw in. We offer of you might find it, but then I can, you know, or like a company can send you the information. So if you have any other questions, uh, tutorial, third nails, please. Tutorial on the third nail. Yeah, this one uh, actually nails. We did this one already, sweetie. So if you are uh, watching, you should watching it over again. We did all six nails already. We did live for like two hours. I'm so excited. I'm so so fire because you are my inspiration. So we did all these nails. We did really, really unlike six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did this encapsulating two different uh is a blast of colors and the sky, sky shiny sky in this one also you can put the heart the rainbow heart here too as well it's so pretty and we did this ombre to techniques ombre because i would like to share the ombre liquid and powder and then this is um the unicorns glow in the dark with our frame and arrowheads in a go and this one we did the blast uh, I'm sorry, touch of color, which is this guy, the touch of colors. Can you please get me that touch of color? And and I did the Chan Fu Foy with the uh, Foy Solid. This kit, I got it out from here. It's so cool though, it has so many different colors. I took the pink one out. I don't know where it's pink on it. This one. I just took that one out. And then this one we did the again we did a marble nails which using a milky white and then the shiny sky and then we using a touch of color and this one we did pink and white acrylic underneath and then we did the pink and white ombres which is that collection if you're looking at the diamond dust pixie is number zero nine zero two is the ombre pink and white. And it's all in the video and also options is uh it's in the Facebook as well. If you're seeing you can rewatch them. And then this one we did is the newest collection of um of our uh, dramatics, really great dramatic three dimensions butterflies. It's not like our butterflies with twelve colors. Can you show me the twelve colors of butterfly there? That's over there. I got caught there. And I will share with you why it's different. It's so dramatically. It's so stunning. And then we did it with um, kind of the milky white shimmery. And then we did the purple crystals and the frame and all charms and stuff. So it's really fun. It's limitless. I'm so excited and I'm going to share with you some, oh, here's some uh, tip and trick would you like to hear before we end for tonight. It's so fun that uh, I would like to share. There are so many different glitters. Sometimes if you might see in your nails, the glitter, it doesn't come out the way you're expecting it because of 
um, the effects of the glitter, the um, the material, the effects of the glitter, and um, you can see this how dramatic it is, and it's super thin. I'm gonna try to five that. I got it. And this is like really cool tray, and like had 12 different colors because a lot of um, you were asking for different, I, like one of this I really like, I like the pink one, I like this, this shiny, the shiny good enough, but it's, but there are two of them you wanna see in the collection, dramatic glitter, the two butterflies is just totally different. Can I get another tray? Uh, there's two different, this is a different, quality of it and you can see they are a different look so then when you in cap this guy you will see a dramatic three dimension when you see this guy you're gonna see it just a butterfly it doesn't reflect a lot so you can you can really like can I get the tray for that one I'm gonna pull this one in so they can see it. And then, it's just like tip and trick, then it was, that's why it make a different look, not from a Photoshop, or it's not from, um, it's just a from the glitter. Tutorial nails, please. Ashen nails, we did it, we did it just earlier, on the third nails. All right, hello, hi, how are you? It's Hi, Nano. Thanks so much for tuning in. Great. So look at this one. If you can see, this is, I just want to share a tip and trick. That's why you were seeing it, how you're doing the dramatic and it's going to affect on your um, results, right? So this is, is totally a different reflex when you're doing it. It will see totally it from the material the cut of it it give it three dimension this is the two of them that you see they are different in the collection of dramatic glitter why is this one is have a whole tray with affordable price and then you can see the glitter but this guys it dramatic and uh here's that's why you can see a different from a butterflies you know of course this one ear distance but this one is still but this one it's just seeing it if you put it on you see the glitter you seeing the butterflies but you will never see the effects of how this butterfly look. Yeah, you have to experience it yourself. Sometimes it's hard, like the same thing when I first say, oh, they look the same. It's like, it's just butterfly, but the, no, when you put it on, they're different. They uh, reflect different under, you can see that. I'm so enjoying it tonight, whatever you want. I can't wait to, and then also we have this, um, this is glitters, the uh, shiny sky is good, but we have another one with like dramatic glitter with this kind, so it's really cool though. And then also we have the heart in that, versus the heart, no, the heart in this colors, versus the heart in this, but this one I would love it because it has so many different colors, but also we have the heart in the dramatic glitters this. This is so cute. So we can do next week, we can go back with the heart too. I'm so obsessed with them. Thank you. So that is a, some tip and trick. That's why I said, why is my butterflies is going on? It doesn't look like dramatic. It's look like it's just plain butterflies. It doesn't look reflection in three dimension. If you do this too, guys, you see three dimension right away. This one, you see the butterfly beautiful. So just, just that how we can um, see different products in a different angle. But this, guys, is really cool, though. Touch of um, colors. It's really, really awesome. This is one of my favorite ones, too, along with the blast of colors. You never go wrong with this. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I have really productive tonight with everyone. Do I do a glow in the dark? I want to see something of that. Uh, not sure. What glow in the dark though? Silent Rosie? This one, the glow in the dark though. You want to see that? <coughs> this is a crystal glow in the dark, sweetie. Let me turn off the light so you can see it. We did that several. 
I'm charging it. So the clients will start going to the outside and enjoy the day. And then when they go back home, their nails are completely charged. Look at that. I just chalked it quick. But if you go out at night, uh, in the morning, you can start seeing it, it chalks really well. <gasps> Look at that, butterfly. Oh, I can't see it. But this one you can see. Look at that, I'm gonna turn it off. You can start seeing it, right? That's a glow in the dark. It's like, in my end, you see so glow. It's hard to see it through my camera. But look that, we did this one like last video. I'm not even chalked it, but this is glow in my end really well. Look at that. So stunning. I have the pink one right here. I see something that natural. Is that what is it you want to see? And then we're going to do more videos in the futures. And definitely, I would definitely going to be back on Monday with another live tutorial. And then we're going to show and we're going to announce who the winner of 10,000 followers giveaway. Thank you so much, everyone, for your wonderful time with me over here. And we get to say, share so many. Like today, we'll do another six nails. How wonderful is that? We did five of them last night. We did six on the other nights. I hope that you learned so much. And thank you so much for being with me, participate with me, asking any questions. And you are not heretics to say anything that you would like to, you know, it's like a feedback to us. We really appreciate it. And uh, I would definitely want to see you on Monday. And don't forget to check out the products on today is the last day. You have a few hours to shop until a midnight of Pacific, you know, Central Standard Time. Standard Time. Standard time. Standard time. 2 so in 2 a.m. in our um, in Central. Central Time. Central Time. Oh, so 3 a.m. Eastern. So, and then at 3 a.m. in Eastern. So browse through the website. If you see any product, you need to DM us regarding to the products or send us the email if you have any question regarding to that. All your products, all entire order is 20% off. And even like you just need to check out one of the items, I would suggest this guy. Like glue gel, no wipe top coat, and precision glue. You have nothing to lose because you get that whole entire kit. It's never being on sale, on the top of sale. It never like that. So then you can try out and then the crystal uh, AB. No, it's not AB, I'm sorry, Mega Mix. So it's all different sizes and all different colors. So you got to experience it out. So it's good for beginners if you want to check it out, okay? So 20% off on the top of your $55, which is like $78 of value, but you get it for 55, 20% off on that. So you get nothing to lose. Really enjoying it. And thank you so much, everyone. I will definitely see you on Monday. And don't forget to check out the website for some information and then products and please stay tuned for the class information as well i love you all for another great nice live tutorial and i will see you on monday bye bye